So, Adam, I hear we've had another complaint. Yes, yes, we have. What was this one about then? Um, well, it was just we were just still being very silly with the whole silly? cutaways and different angles and not really taking it all that seriously. We, we took too many steps too quick. Yes, we took. Right. Yes, exactly. Well, mind you, our facts weren't that great. I mean, a box of wheels. I mean, no. Anyone could see that. Of course. Yes. So, uh, there we go. So now we're going to go a little bit more professional. Yes, time, aren't yes we? We. I mean, we, we've even dressed for the occasion. Mm -hmm. We have. Yes. So, welcome to Diesel Engines and their Heritage. Yes, hello and welcome. And today we're going to be reviewing this 08 Shunter. Ten, isn't it? Ten? Yeah, no, it's definitely a... Oh! No, uh -huh. It's no, a nine! nine. <laughs> it's an O9 yes, shunter. Yes. Well, mind you, uh, I refer you to this previous statement. And the only way you can tell these things apart from a casual glance is by the number. And if you can tell them apart otherwise, you will almost certainly never find a wife or a girlfriend. Well, it's, it's bigger. Than, than I was expecting. Yes, just, just a little bit. Uh, yes. In fact, did you know it weighs 49 tonnes? Does it? Now? Look, wow. we've got a fact in this yes. time that's actually relevant. Mm. Yes, and it has a brake force of 19. 19 what? That's not going to overcomplicate it, Adam. It's uh, got a maximum speed of 5 miles an hour. Yes, well, yes. This, this like a I, I can neck. think of several steam locos that were built to do this kind of job that had a much higher maximum speed. Yes, I, I could think of many locos of at least a third of the size, or a different gauge, so it could go faster than that. Yes, in fact I can think of most steam engines going faster than Yes, that. yes I can. Yes. So, uh, on to the advantages. Well, it's a very, very, very safe locomotive. Yes, it is, as you can see, in its high vis. Yes, and has been for quite some time. Hmm. Yes. In fact, it is so safe that the owners do not want to put it out of its colour scheme just in case it gets hit. Yes. So, uh, we have also discovered this locomotive, in fact, you can forget the owners, because it belongs to Adam, and it says so, just, just, yes, just there. there. So. Disadvantages. There are hmm. some definite disadvantages to this loco. Exactly, there are. Number one, it's trying to be a steam engine. Yes. It's uh, got some coupling rods. Yes. Quite why, we don't know. It gets you all excited when you see it through the under gap in the bit of, and then yeah. you come up on top, and then you hear it. Mm. 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 Yes. It's there. So, which leads me on to the next thing, nicknames. Hmm. Well, the general nickname for the only one we know is an 08, and it is called a Gronk. Uh, and as they look exactly the same, we have come to the conclusion that that must be the case for this also. Of course. Um, so, we now see that it's on hire from nobody. Yes, because... Because who in their right mind would hire out one of these? Me, apparently, because I, I own one. Well, yes, yes, there, there is that. Um, and, oh dear, oh dear. Well, we appear to run out of facts again. Well, we've got some in this time. Yes. Um, now, uh, what I think we need to do at this point, uh, well, we, we wanted to get a bit more interactive. I mean, yes, Chris yes we did. So what we've decided is, as we're dressed like this, we'll take her for a spin. Well, that was fun, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. It was yes. Fun. Well, I think we need to do the safest thing now. Yes, and uh, move away quite quickly. Yes, I hear Chris has uh, got some... Um, Fireworks planned for this one. Yes. Yes. So, but, uh, uh, see you. We'll, we'll, 